Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome to a new edition of our program, Today's Youth. In today's uh, edition, we are very much delighted to have our dear guest in the studio, Kirolus Henin, our uh, tour leader. Uh, good afternoon to you, Kirolus. Good afternoon to you. Hello, everybody. I'm really uh, glad to be here today with you, and thank you for having me. It's really a pleasure. Thank you, uh, Kirolos, for being with us. Uh, Kirolos, uh, you have been uh, graduating, or you have graduated from uh, Alson Ain Shams, and after your graduation, you started your journey of work in the tourism industry, and you started your work as a team uh, a tour leader in Hurghada and Marsa Alam. Can you tell us about your experience uh, for being a tour leader there? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, first, I have graduated from Faculty of uh, Languages uh, in yeah. Alson in Shams University uh, in Cairo. Uh, in this college, you have to choose between two desired languages. Mm -hmm. I uh, myself chose Russian as a mm -hmm. first or a major language, and second is my English. Yes. Uh, I thought that uh, to be uh, having the English as a second language will mm -hmm. be easier to me, so I can focus on the major language because the Russian language is really. It's not really common. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's not coming, gives me uh, more opportunities to of work. Of course. Uh, yeah. Especially because I am more into the uh, sector of tourism. Yeah. So uh, uh, we're having many, many Russian uh, speakers, tourists in Horgara, in the Red Sea, Horgara, Sharm el or Marsa Alams. That's three yeah. series we have in the Red Sea. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, I've graduated from the faculty, and then even before I get my certificate, I moved to Horgara to start my journey in tourism sector. Yes. Uh, can you tell us more here about your experience with the uh, tourists in uh, Hurghada and in Marsa Alam? And we have to mention that you have started your experience somehow during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, uh, timing. So it was uh, not a very uh, high uh, in tourism industry. So uh, can you tell, uh, tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's not actually during the pandemic, but yeah. After. Uh, it, was, it was before. Yes. Yeah, like I worked for like seven or eight months, mm. and then I everything stopped. Of course, so I had to uh, come back to Cairo, it's where yeah. I live anyway. Uh, um, we have three cities mm. in the Red Sea. Sharm el Sheikh and Hurghada is the most popular ones. Yeah. Uh, Mar Salam is a new destination. Yes. Uh, I never heard about that before. I go working there. Mm -hmm. uh, I started in Hurghada. As I mentioned before, that we are having many, many Russian speakers, tourists, not only from Russia, mm -hmm. uh, Ukrainian people as well, and all the countries that can speak Russian, yes. uh, flying to Hurghada. So uh, at that time, as I told you that I already moved before I get my certificate because we are having many tourists, so it was a high season. Mm -hmm. uh, so the demand of the uh, Russian speakers was really high. So uh, it was good for me. Yes. Uh, I didn't have any experience in tourism before. Uh, uh, but my uh, interview with the HR, uh, she told me that uh, uh, yes. you're like a little bit like uh, uh, confused <laughs> because it's the first time to speak with a native. You know? yes. But uh, in, my, in my thoughts, I believe that you will not be able to speak like a native unless mm -hmm. you speak with a native. Mm. So I just started the journey with them and they gave me the chance to yes. have like 15 days uh, as a training on bait, of course, to see mm -hmm. if I would be able to uh, get involved. Yes. So yeah, it was good for me and yes. then I started my journey. Uh, before going on air, uh, Kirollos, we were talking about how you were fascinated with Marsa Alam. Can you tell us how the tourists there are um, liking uh, the, the place and what are the most important attractions there and why you were fascinated yourself mm. by this uh, destination? Uh, well, as a 25 years old mm -hmm. young man, I was asked to move to Marsa Alam as a new destination because mm -hmm. we all believed, me and my colleagues, that yeah. Marsa Alam is a new destination, so it's mostly desert. It's nothing to see there, it's what I thought. Mm. Uh, uh, so uh, when I moved to Mar Salam, yeah. I refused to come back to Hurghara or Cairo because yes. it's really amazing. You liked your experience. I loved it. I yes. loved it. Uh, in Mar Salam, it's like one way long. Uh, it's very big city, but it's not uh, 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 like Hurghara or Shamshir mm. squares and the uh, shops and the uh, traffic light zone. It's just mm. one way long. Hotels, hotels, hotels on the way on the beach. And then we have uh, the airport of Mar Salam. Well. It's in the middle of the city, uh -huh. uh, and we have two ports there, two marinas. This is the sightseeing of Mar Salam. Yeah. The first port is uh, Port Galib. The name mm. of the port is Port Galib. Uh, port Galib is where you can go and uh, do some snorkeling or diving, and you will be able to see many, many turtles, 
Uh, on the, of course, I'm not talking about the, the type of fish who have many uh, yes. uh, coral reefs and fish yes. and so on. The marine life is quite rich there. Yeah, but you can see that maybe in Horgara on, uh, yeah. on uh, Sharm, but the turtles, the, how many of them is uh, it's rich uh, world mm -hmm. under the sea there. And the things that we have in Mars Alam, we can't see anywhere yeah. else in Egypt is the manatees. We have manatees. In Egypt, we call them sea yeah. cow. Yes. Sea cow is like a big creature. It doesn't bite. It's very safe to, to yes. swim uh, around. around. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Carolus uh, and our dear viewers will go to a short break and after that we'll be back to continue our interview. And back to you, uh, Carolus, uh, and talking about the importance here of studying different languages in order to have different uh, venues or different fields that you could work on. Uh, to what extent studying Russian did help you in your career? Well, I realized that when you learn a new language, it opens mm -hmm. your mind because you're learning just not just a language, it's a whole culture of other country. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, I speak now uh, three languages, it's the Russian, of course, Arabic and English, and I planning to learn uh, a fourth language as well because I found out that it helps me mm. to uh, open my mind more and uh, uh, the more cultures you know mm. uh, the more communication skills you have and it, it gives you more opportunities of course to work and uh, to have new friends Indeed. all over the world. Yes, how from your point of view Carol, was mm -hmm. the, the use uh, could help in promoting the tourism industry in Egypt? That's really a very good question because it differs from a person to another depending on your position. Uh, for example, people who uh, are working as uh, maybe designers or anyone on the media, yeah. they can uh, promote the uh, tourism sector here in Egypt by making mm -hmm. some posters or uh, videos uh, about that too. We can share this on the media. It's easy now to do that. Yeah. Uh, any other people who uh, is not in the media, maybe in uh, away from the tourism uh, industry, mm -hmm. you can still promote your country by respecting the tourists in your country. Because we are having many, if you go to downtown, if you go to downtown in Cairo, you're going to see that there are many people just having a walk, uh, foreign people, without mm -hmm. uh, uh, a tour guide, I mean, without a local person with them. Yeah. They are feel free and safe, secure to do that mm -hmm. by themselves because the downtown is worth its heart of Cairo. Yes. Uh, and I promote and encourage people to do that. Yes. Uh, so if you saw, the, saw one of them, mm -hmm. uh, don't bother them. At least you can show respect by, because Egyptian people like to uh, mm -hmm. uh, take photos with uh, yes. foreign people. And uh, by talking about photos, we'll be yeah. seeing on the screen some photos that uh, uh, you have uh, uh, brought uh, that we are going to comment to our viewers about about uh, your uh, journey and uh, about uh, being working in the tourism uh, industry. Uh, uh, can you comment about uh, this sure. uh, photo, Carolus? Uh, yeah. What, uh, where was this uh, photo? It was in the Cairo Tower. Yes. Cairo Tower is the tallest building in Cairo. It's about Indeed. 187 meters high. It's higher than the pyramid, the mm. pyramid of Cubes, which is one of the seven wonders. So mm -hmm. we promote to go there. Uh, uh, to get the feeling of being on the top of a pyramid. Actually, yes. you can see the pyramids from the top, but if it's not foggy, of yes. course, not at night. Uh, I remember the guest, uh, uh, it's Adriana. Uh, we're still in touch. <laughs> there, yeah, we still even touch remember the name. Yeah, I do. I remember every yes. uh, guest. I told that I have new friendship. Yes. Uh, it's because of the You language. build relations yeah. and friendships. And this uh, photo, Quirolos, where was it? Uh, the one in Marsalam. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, this is Where in Mar Salam? It's a hotel uh, or it's a No, bazaar? it's uh, in the port of uh, Portugalib. It will be yes. about Portugalib, uh, mm -hmm. where we go swimming and diving. Mm -hmm. This is Margarita. We became uh, close friends now. <laughs> um, the atmosphere and vibes in Mar Salam and the Red Sea uh, is ah. spectacular. You love the vibes of the, uh, the Red Sea. It's different than Cairo, of course. This is something you yes. will see here. And you this see photo, there. I believe, in the uh, tower as well? It's still the Cairo mm. Tower, yeah. We usually promote going to the tower. Yeah. Uh, it's a good place to visit. Uh, this is Glynis and her uh, husband. They are doctors in, from Canada. Yeah. We're still in touch as well. Good. Uh, yeah. So you, you, you built a, a very wide network, and this is where, uh, uh, Kirolos? This is uh, safari, safari in, uh, in uh, Hurgada. Uh -huh. We, we uh, do safari as a uh, um, Tell us trip. more about the safari in Egypt. To what extent the, the tourists love to do safaris here? Uh, it's different, as I told you, from Hurgada to uh, Cairo, because yeah. uh, at Cairo, you will do it in front of the pyramids. So 
yeah. of course, it's something I would Drink the sand, the do. desert. Yeah, uh, mm. and we make some stops so, so people can take photos. Mm. Uh, in Mar Salam and Hurghada, it's mostly only desert. There's no pyramids there, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, by the sea. So yes. it's a good place yes. to have some photos. And this photo, Akirullus? Uh, it's near the downtown, but it's, uh, the guest uh, wasn't with me here. Uh -huh. uh, I usually go to the downtown. Uh, sometimes I um, oh. invite one of the friends I have in Egypt not working, just invite them out to go to downtown and have dinner. Mm. Uh, Enjoy the vibes of downtown Cairo. Yeah, I love the vibes. Uh, yeah, I love the Indeed, vibes. Indeed, it's, it's great. And I do believe that the tourists love it as well. Uh, this uh, photo, Carolus, tell us more about it. Uh, this is uh, Italian family. I don't speak Italian, but because we are, we're having a high season yeah. of uh, Italian tourists, so I was helping my colleagues <laughs> to uh, 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 give them the, this walk in the downtown. Because they speak English. This is in so downtown Cairo In downtown. Well. This is the Nile Palace Bridge. Yeah. Uh, we usually start the tour from the downtown, which is heart of Cairo, and then yeah. we cross the Nile Palace Bridge, which is one of the famous uh, places in Cairo, going to mm. Zamalek. Yes. Uh, so, and uh, you are uh, uh, telling us uh, more about this? Uh, uh, this is a completely different place. Many people don't know that we have this in Cairo. This is the Camel Market. Uh -huh. uh, to go to the Camel Market, it's only on Friday. Uh, we go to uh, uh, see uh, the people selling and buying uh, the camels. Yes. That's it. Yeah. So it's a, a good experience uh, that uh, you did enjoy with the tourists. I and did. You did have a, a nice journey with your uh, being a tour uh, leader and uh, was working with the tourist uh, Kirullus Sahinin, our tour leader. Thank you so much for being our guest for today and we wish you the best of luck uh, in your uh, tourism experience as well. Thank you. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so I'm much. Glad to meet you. Uh, our uh, dear viewers, with that we come to the end of this edition of our program. Uh, today's use. Uh, till next week, I'm Hesti Rabia signing off. Many thanks for watching. <laughs>